Hello. In this overview video, we are going to look at the nomenclature of neoplasms. So we will appreciate the nomenclature of neoplasms, specifically how to name benign versus malignant neoplasms, and also how to name neoplasms of various tissue types. Some general rules. The names for neoplasms usually end with the suffix oma, and the tissue type determines what comes before the suffix oma. So, of course, tumours of the epithelial tissue versus connective tissue, as well as the specific types of tissues within these categories, will have different names. The names are usually longer for malignant tumours. So, for example, for a benign tumour, it would be the tissue type followed by oma, and for a malignant tumour, it's tissue type, and then usually there are a few letters finally followed by OMA. Let's take a look at tissue types. So for a quick recap, you'll recall the four main tissue types, epithelial, connective, muscle and nerve tissue. For epithelial tumours, malignant epithelial tumours or epithelial cancers are called carcinoma. For stromal or mesenchymal malignant tumours, they are called sarcoma. And these can come from a whole range of cell types, for example, fibroblasts seen in connective tissue proper, fat, cartilage and bone, which are part of specialised connective tissue, and also muscle. This is not an exhaustive list. Some exceptions are there. Hematolymphoid malignant tumours are known as lymphoma or leukaemia, if they are primarily involving the bone marrow. Tumours of neurons and brain tissue are named differently. So let's first start by looking at carcinoma and I want to bring you back to the three main types of epithelial tissues that we will encounter, stratified squamous epithelium, transitional epithelium and glandular epithelium. So let's take a look at tumours of these three tissue types. And again, a very quick recap of where these tumours can be found. Skin, oral mucosa, gastrointestinal tract, such as the esophagus and anal canal and uterine cervix, for examples of stratified squamous epithelium. For transitional epithelium or urothelium, we know that this is limited more or less to the urinary tract. And glandular epithelium can be found in many organs, including lining the airways, trachea, bronchi, in the lungs, breast, parts of the gastrointestinal tract, uterus, and prostate. And these are not exhaustive lists. So let's start by looking at the names for benign tumours of the stratified squamous epithelium, and these are called squamous papillomas. Very similarly, tumours that are benign of the urothelium are called urothelial papilloma. And for glandular epithelium, benign tumours are known as adenoma. So adeno refers to glandular tissue. So remember, benign tumours will have the tissue type, squamous, urothelial, adeno, followed by oma. Now let's look at malignant tumours of the stratified squamous epithelium and we start with the word squamous cell, so this time we add in the word cell and it's a longer name, so it's called carcinoma. Remember I mentioned that malignant epithelial tumours are known as carcinoma, so squamous cell carcinoma and malignant urothelial tumours are known as urothelial carcinoma, not surprisingly. And finally, see if you can figure out what malignant glandular tumours are called, bearing in mind this prefix of adeno. And the answer is adenocarcinoma. So you'll notice, again, that malignant epithelial tumours are tissue type followed by carcinoma. Now moving on to the non-epithelial tumours, let's first have a look at specialised connective tissue. So again, benign, oma, and malignant, sarcoma. Starting off with bone, the name for the type of mineralised tissue in bone is called osteoid. 
For cartilage, the matrix tissue is called chondroid, and for adipose tissue, it is called lipomatous tissue. So if you can try to figure out the names for bone, a benign tumor is known as an osteoma, and a malignant bone-forming tumor is known as osteosarcoma. For cartilage, a benign cartilage-forming tumor is a chondroma, and similarly, a malignant cartilage-forming tumor is chondrosarcoma. And for adipose tissue or fatty tissue tumors, they are very common, benign Fatty tissue tumors are called lipomas, and malignant ones, as I'm sure you can guess now, are called liposarcoma. Moving on to muscle and blood vessels, smooth muscle is known as leo myo, skeletal muscle, rhabdo myo, so myo is common and myo refers to muscle, and blood vessels are usually termed angio something. So again, we have oma and sarcoma, hence benign smooth muscle tumors are called leiomyomas, and malignant smooth muscle tumors, leiomyosarcoma, benign skeletal muscle tumors, rhabdomyoma, these are pretty rare, and malignant counterparts are called rhabdomyosarcoma, again, fairly rare. And for blood vessels, interestingly, usually the benign tumors are known as hemangiomas. Sometimes you can also call them angiomas in certain contexts. And for malignant tumors, they are usually called angiosarcoma. Often we drop the heme in front, so just angiosarcoma. And of course, there are some exceptions for certain non-epithelial tumors, for example, tumors of melanocytes. If they are benign, usually we call them melanocytic nevus or melanocytic nevi, plural. And of course, you must have heard of this, melanoma for malignant tumors of melanocytes. For lymphoid tissue, there isn't really a benign counterpart, but for the malignant ones, we call them lymphomas if they are involving lymph nodes or extra nodal lymphoid tissue. If they are in the bone marrow, hematolymphoid malignant tumors are known as leukemias. So let's do a quick one slide recap, starting with tissue types. Malignant tumors of epithelial origin are known as carcinomas. We have squamous cell carcinoma, urothelial carcinoma, adenocarcinoma. For benign neoplasms, squamous papilloma, and adenoma. And for malignant tumors of the non-epithelial tissue types, most non-epithelial tissue types, usually they are known as sarcomas, osteosarcoma, chondrosarcoma, liposarcoma, leiomyosarcoma, and others. And for benign neoplasms, osteoma, chondroma, lipoma, and leiomyoma. And with a few exceptions, lymphoma and leukemia for hematolymphoid malignancies, and of course, melanoma for malignancies arising from melanocytes. Thank you.